lot of people that get hurt in there. There's a lot of different things that can happen. But that's really not just defensive tackles. That's everybody in the league. How do, you know, how do you, 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 you have to strike while the iron's hot. How do you feel about team-friendly deals and the thought that, you know what, Tom Brady did it for like 10 years, but he was getting front-end signing bonuses and other things like that, but he was still taking team-friendly deals for a long time. Anytime somebody's contract is up now, anytime, and if you look at the history of success for quarterbacks, the, usually, now aside from Tom Brady, who has debunked almost every single theory, a lot of these younger quarterbacks on smaller contracts seem to be the teams that keep it moving now. How do you feel about players potentially taking team-friendly deals, or do you think everybody should get it while they can? Depends on where they are in their career. If you got a guy like Tom Brady who's been around, and, and he sees an opportunity to have a championship football team where he's been most of his career, by all means, stay. Or you get an older player that says, hey, you know what, is it really worth it for me to leave a place that I've been for a long time, that my family knows, to move across the country for an extra million or two, you know? So, I, I don't know, there's different scenarios, but when you're young, when you don't have the long-term security that maybe an older player has, I think, number one, you need to take care of your family and yourself and, and have an opportunity to, to do something generational for, I guess, your people. I, I'm so torn on it, too, because generational wealth is a whole different ballgame as opposed to just, you know, accruing $20 million, which is a lot of money, but a lot of guys have to stretch at $20 million, like 60 years now, which, by the way, still good living. Still, by the way, not saying that that is bad. I mean, you know, if you're talking about, like, the course of your career making $50-plus million, dollars, I mean, you're talking about, you know, quite a lick and something that no matter, you know, what your heart feels, there's, there's also common sense of, like, hey, you know, this needs, to, this needs to happen. I need to get this done. Okay, well, you're down in Louisiana. Drew Brees just announced yesterday that he is coming back for the 20th season. How do you feel about Drew Brees coming back? I'm happy for him. Do you think that affects a lot of things in this free agent quarterback market? How do you see it all turning out? Well, it's the first domino to fall, right? So, in which I think you, you could have seen that coming. You know, Drew's still playing at a really high level. You know, he... He'll get an opportunity this year to throw for 200 bazillion yards or whatever, the, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, he's just going to keep adding on to that. But obviously for the Saints, great player, really great for the community down here because I'm so close, I get to see it. So that's just the first domino that falls. I mean, I, I can't remember. I don't think there's ever been a year like what we're looking at coming up here in the next month. You know, potentially, you know, probably the greatest.